Sunday, in case you don't know, is Mother's Day. Guillermo, what are you getting your mother for Mother's Day? You get her a gift? Yeah, flowers, and I take her to dinner. You take her to dinner. What about your mother-in-law? No, I haven't talked to her in six years. Okay, very good. <laughs> so, um, on Mother's Day, we take our mothers to brunch, we give them flowers, we let them know how much we love them, then we go back to screening their phone calls the rest of the year. Uh, moms are the best, especially when it comes to sending texts. So, as a tribute to the mothers of the world, we ran around our office today, and we asked some of the people who work here to read actual texts from their actual moms, and this is what they shared. Hi, Ben. My friends that came to watch your comedy said your eye contact and stage presentation was good, and you are very good and funny without the sex jock. There are very good comedian they do well, like Bill Cosby and others without the dirty jock. <laughs> this is in 2012, so... But still. Hey, that pic you put on Instagram, you look like a movie glamour girl. Where were you going? Your boobs look bigger. Are you wearing a push-up bra? Are you exercising your chest when you go to the gym? What is Facebook etiquette when someone pokes you? Do you poke back or what? A high school friend who I only see at reunions just poked me. What should I do? She poked me a year ago and I didn't respond. I thought I had removed the poke. I wonder instead if I poked her? Love, mom. Right now I'm trying to take your dad to the mall to distract him. He's on Facebook too much. Married men should not be allowed on that thing. I'm going to shut it down and don't tell him. Call me. FYI, yesterday at Cards, I was told to use Vicks Vapor Rub on my cuticles. Can't wait to try that tonight. XOXO. Our painter, who has joint pain, started using this cream, parentheses, odor free, and gets a lot of relief. Buys it on Amazon for a great savings. Thought it was worth sharing with you. <laughs> Son, I have no clue where you are, but you need to call your mother. So don't make me put out an APB on you because you know I will. Call me, love, love. I'm at work. Jane told me her Nantucket housekeeper died two weeks ago. We went to Red Hook and met a glass blower. He's going to do our chandelier. It's gonna look like rice paper, only made out of glass when it's turned on. Naturally, I then did an extensive real estate search on real estate in Red Hook. It's perfect except for it tends to go underwater. But we had an adventure with young people. We're so cool. I sent my mom a grocery list because I wanted to make the family dinner, and she responded, no one likes you. I am so friggin' exhausted because my dog is a tank. Got home from your house at 8.30 p.m. last night after babysitting Charlie all day, so I was already tired and hungry, and then I came home to squirted all over the white throw rug in the dining room. I was on my hands and knees for one hour trying to clean the rug. I finally had a bite to eat and went to bed around 11 p.m. Then Barney woke me up every hour to go outside to I literally was up from midnight until 6 a.m. Of course, I then had to get up for the day, and he got to sleep all day. Oh, and I almost forgot that when I woke up, there was all over the dining room rug again. I don't know how so much can come out of such a small dog. Ugh. Are you seeing your imaginary girlfriend today? She's real. My mom is obsessed with Al Roker, so she'll text me things like, today Al was at Loyola University trying to break the record for most amount of people crab walking for two minutes with no tushes touching the ground. They had 494 people crab walking, which beat the old record by 118. Thanks for the Roker report, Mom. I sent my mom a picture of a new bathing suit I just bought, and she said, it's cute, but you got to start working out. You're beautiful, but you're too heavy. You don't want it to get to the point where you can't lose the weight, even if you work out in your room. Thanks so much, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, there you are. Happy Mother's Day. I guess we got a few days, but you understand what I mean. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. And if you don't click subscribe, this invisible hamster will die.